All right. So who are you, and what do you do here at MathGap? Uh, my name is Pradeep Salokumar. I'm part of the MathGap group at PTC, and I work with a team that's uh, responsible for the rewrite of the MathGap user interface. Uh, okay. We are rewriting it using Microsoft's uh, WPF, Windows Presentation Framework, and uh, .NET 4.0. We uh, just released version 1.0 in uh, December, and the second version is uh, slated for end of this year. So you guys have been pretty busy, I guess. You could say that. Okay. <laughs> so um, when I say you guys, obviously it's more than just one or two people working in this. Can you share a little bit about how the team is structured and maybe how many people or just generally how is it oriented? Sure. Um, like any software team, we have um, product definition, development, and QA. Um, however, our teams are scattered across four countries, um, including Canada, the U.S., China, and Israel. Okay. Um, we do have some, um, you know, obvious barriers like culture and language and distance. But um, even if I do say so myself, it's quite amazing how much we have accomplished uh, despite those barriers. Sure. Okay. Why don't you uh, share a little bit about the development process that the MathCAD team uses uh, when working on MathCAD Prime and moving forward? Sure. Um, we follow a lot of the Agile uh, development methodology principles. Uh, we don't follow all of them, uh, but those that work well for us. Um, we do uh, test-driven development. We do short iterations where um, you know, essentially an iteration is about three weeks long. and. At the beginning of an iteration, product definition gets together with development and QA, and we decide on exactly what it is that we're going to build uh, and deliver at the end of those three weeks, um, so that product definition again can look at it and see if they like what they see, and then we can revise it in uh, subsequent iterations. Uh, this has worked really well for us. Um, we also do something called continuous integration, which is essentially constantly building our application um, in, a, in a way that it's close to being able to ship it. Okay. Um, so that we always have an installer that gets built and that's what we test against. Um, and this um, has also helped us a lot in making sure there are no regressions in our, uh, that during our development process. So that's kind of a sharp difference from maybe traditional methods where you have all these design uh, documents up front and throwing them over a wall and kind of waiting for something. With this method it seems like you kind of do it chunk by chunk and you get to see real progress as you move through. That's correct. Um, it's, you know, all the stakeholders are constantly aware of exactly where the project is and where the product is going and how the features are getting shaped. Uh, this is enormously useful because our feedback loop is so small mm -hmm. um, so that you get immediate instant feedback on um, how features are working out and if we should be changing something or not. Great. Okay. Um, earlier you mentioned that we're using Windows Presentation Framework, uh, .NET 4.0, and so maybe break it on down a little bit more. What does that mean and why did the MathCAD team specifically choose that versus just kind of building on what they had before? Um, Windows Presentation Foundation is the latest in a long line of uh, user interface frameworks from Microsoft. Um, it is the most powerful and most flexible of the frameworks to date. Um, again, there are challenges uh, when you start developing an absolutely new framework, um, but the, the power and the flexibility of that mm -hmm. framework has time and again uh, demonstrated itself um, to, to our development team. Uh, it's, uh, it's very easy to add new functionality, uh, like, the, for example, the ribbon mm -hmm. uh, interface that Microsoft is uh, now standardized against all their Office products. Um, Okay. You know, it was very easy for us to integrate that uh, into, the, into the product. And from what I understand, this allows um, the user interface to be separated a little more discreetly from the, from the kernel and the computation engine, is that correct? That's true, that's uh, very true. Uh, one of the holy grails of, of user interface development is the separation of the actual user interface mm -hmm. and the business logic um, that sits behind it okay. and the presentation logic that sits behind it. Uh, this is very core to WPF. Um, that's how you develop uh, in WPF. Great. So it's coming very handy. Excellent. Okay. Well, um, it sounds like obviously you guys have been really busy and continue to be really busy. And I'm guessing there's been a couple high points along the way. Can you share with uh, the viewers maybe um, something that, uh, that particularly stands out in the um, many, many months that you guys have been working on this uh, from, like, from a personal standpoint? 
Well, for me personally, the, the entire three years I've spent so far in developing Netcat Prime has been the high point of my career. Great. Um, you know, in this day and age, it's, it's mostly um, web development and database spec mm -hmm. um, um, internet applications. Okay. Uh, and it's fairly rare for anyone to be working on desktop applications. Um, but uh, not that there's anything wrong with internet applications, mm -hmm. uh, but as a colleague used to say, you know, that's been done a million times before already. <laughs> sure. Um, no, this has been very, very satisfying. Uh, you, you see a product take shape in front of you and you see how it, your users are going to be using it. Um, you, we've already heard some really good um, feedback from our users. Uh, it's very, very uh, gratifying. Great. Well, Pradeep, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.